guys welcome back to my channel where i upload diys and interior design content my name is ashley and this is interior.break we might be moving hopefully we get to move and um, I thought it would be the perfect time for us to show you the downstairs of our apartment. I really wanted to show you guys upstairs, but unfortunately, we never got to it before hopefully moving out. So I'm just going to show you guys downstairs. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so as soon as you walk in, we have our coat hanger here. And this is where, obviously, where we put our coats as soon as we get in and all of Layla's leash. And then when you look over here, we have this beautiful bench. That Joanna made. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm thinking that maybe we might put this upstairs, but I really, really love it. I also love how there's so much storage at the bottom. So this is where we throw our shoes that we wear on a regular basis. So yeah, this is a little cute bench that we have at our entryway. And then if we come over here, we have this really, really large, ooh, we have this really large mirror that I absolutely love. It's like a little antique vintage type of vibe, like, it's just so cute and then we have like a little boho rug going on here and then um if you see my bathroom makeover you've seen that i got these pompas and they were just making too much mess in the bathroom so i decided to put it out here where so as soon as you walk in to your right or maybe your guys left <laughs> to my right we have the living room I love this living room space. It's literally probably one of my favorite projects that we ever work on. Fortunately, we did this wall before we started YouTube, so I never got a chance to film it. I just absolutely love this wall because everything on this wall is DIY. Joanna made this beautiful babe cave. It basically represents us, so I really love that. Then I paired it with wallpaper. Um, I wanted to go for that brick vibe. Um, but I also didn't want to go with like a basic white brick. So I really, really love this wallpaper. And then here is a console table that Joanna made herself. Well, obviously the base came from like a thrift store and then we just added like a door and some legs to it. And I absolutely love it. This is basically where we put all of like our Xbox and our controllers and her DJ set. Everything is just all up in here. So yeah, this is our living room and i don't know if you guys saw over here if you guys haven't seen this video i showed you guys how to do three um trendy diys for really really cheap so you guys should go check this out i absolutely adore this so so cute actually it was four diys and then here we have our lovely couch from ikea I love this couch. Honestly, this couch is the devil because the minute you sit on it, you're not getting back up. Like, you're not. Like, that's it for the day. We try to avoid not to sit here before doing anything that we have planned for the day. So yeah, this is our couch. I didn't want to go with a basic all white living room. I really wanted to bring some character and a lot of plants inside of here. As you can see, our plants are dying, and this is why we need to move, because we absolutely get no lights here, like no sunlight at all. All right, so now, here is our piano. Well, not our piano, this is Joanna's piano, because I don't play the piano. I also don't play the guitar. I don't do any of that. Um, so this is hers. And um, actually it's so crazy because when um, when she first had this piano, it was like a basic wood, like mahogany type of um, piano. And we painted it black and we went for like a classic, classy look here. 
Um, if you guys haven't seen this video where I DIY uh, plaster, we'll say DIY modern plaster wall art. I absolutely love this piece and I absolutely love it right here. It just goes with that classy look that we were trying to go here. And yeah, do you guys want to hear me play a song? <laughs> so cringy. <laughs> I can't play the piano. <laughs> All right, and then on this side is where we have our bookshelf with no books on it. It's mainly for our plants. <laughs> It's like, literally I was like, I need a place for us to put a lot of our plants on, but then when I got it, a lot of our plants didn't fit on it. So it's a mixture of both basically. Yeah, so this is our bookshop. Nothing special going on here. And then we have Stinky and Pinky here. Which their tank needs to be cleaned right now. Um, so don't judge them. I don't even know if you can find them. They've survived a long time, so I'm not worried about them. Like, we've actually had them for a while now. And here is a stand that Joanna built for them. Um, it's under construction right now, but it does its part because it's, it's rare you can find a hexagon base for a hexagon. Is it a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, hexagon fish tank. All right. So over here, welcome to me island. <laughs> that was so cringy. Okay, welcome to my island. <laughs> Your private our, island. Our pri this is Layla's private island, okay? This is what we call it. It's Layla's private island. And this is where we do everything. This is where you see a lot of the background of my videos. This is where we, we, we eat. We'll say we eat. Yeah, would you say we eat here a lot? We eat on the couch, let's be honest. Yeah. We eat on the couch. So we don't really eat here. This is where I do my assignments and this is where we do majority of our projects. So um, we are here a lot. This is, this is our island. It's my island in the sun. And now we are in the kitchen. There is a dishwasher that we never use. Like never because your girl has two hands and I make sure I wash my dishes myself <laughs> no I'm kidding um we don't play with that electricity bill you guys a couple of the cupboards inside of here to kind of see how I organize my kitchen we can really go through it really quick so here is where our spice racks are and our plates this is a really smart way to organize your plates. That way you don't have to go through them. You literally just slide it out. Same with your seasonings. And then whenever you're done with them, you make sure you wash them and you empty them so you know that you have to go and buy that. I really, really love this setup. We, we, we don't want to go in here. There's just our cups that's all broken because when we went on a picnic, I broke it all. So, let's just not go in there. Yeah, and then, um, I don't know, what else to show? Coffee um, bar? Huh? Coffee bar? Yeah, let's go to the coffee bar. So here is my coffee bar. If you guys haven't seen, go check out my first YouTube video ever where I transformed this area into my coffee bar and I still love it. I absolutely love this setup. I'm a coffee head and this really, really works for me. And um, yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing and it's functional. So here is my coffee bar. And it's functional. Oh yeah, sorry, not functional, functional. Here is our lovely pantry. 
And um, if you guys have seen my pantry makeover, then you guys already know how it looks like. In my pantry video, I never actually explained how I organized it. Um, it's actually stayed the same since I've done it. I haven't changed much except for changing what's inside of these jars and stuff like that. Which tells you that it works. Which tells you that it does, it does actually work. Like this is very functional for us. Um, functional? Sorry. This is very functional for us. It works for my unorganized girlfriend, does it? Yes. You feel like it works for you? Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time it does stay clean and I absolutely adore it. You want to just say the last part about getting messy again and without Layla. Come here. Come. Come. <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Also, guys, this is your schedule. This is your schedule. I'm not going to show you guys too much. Don't get too close. But we have content all up into October 5th, boo boo. October 5th. So, subscribe. Oh, sorry, Layla. She's always in the way. Don't, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can see some more of my videos. All right. Don't miss a thing. Don't miss a thing. All right, so now when you keep walking past the pantry, look at this lovely macarade. Is that what you call it? I don't know. I don't know what this is called, but Joanna's sister makes these stuff, and this is so lovely. She did make it for um, Joanna's old place, so it doesn't really fit the aesthetics in here, but we just had to have it up because it's so beautiful and it's so personalized. Should we shout her out? Like, what's her Instagram? Oh, yeah, this mama's hands. This mama's hands. If you guys live in Edmonton, I don't know if she ships. And um, she, she makes... does. She has an Etsy store. Oh, there you go. And she makes these. It's it's so dope. So, so, so cool. So shout out to you, Sarah. All right. So this is the gallery wall. Um, it's been through a lot. These are like old frames from all of the places that we've ever lived. So um, we need new frames to kind of give it a little bit more life and I think I want it to be a little bit more uniform. So yeah, this is how it's looking right now. It's just with all of our friends and family and of course Layla is the center of attention because she's a queen. You know, anything but my dog. Um, yeah, we just have a cute little chair here um, that's just sitting here. Um, it's a chair that I made. You made it? I reupholstered it. <laughs> I did reupholster it. Um, this was a lot of work, a lot of hell. This has broke my legs. Um, this baby. <laughs> it broke I, your leg. It did. It, no, it broke my toes. It like messed up my toes. And I just literally have a hate relationship for this chair. So low key trying to get rid of it. And then um, here, which is basically supposed to be our entryway to the building. So it's actually the entryway, but it's not our entryway. We, we enter from back there, from the first entrance. So this is technically our entryway. And then this is just storage. Like it's literally storage or things that we need to sell or things we need to get rid of or it needs to go to Goodwill. Or if you have a project, this is where it goes. Yeah, if, we have, if we're in the middle of working on a project, it would come right here and um the only tool we have downstairs is her miter saw um yeah because this goes this only gets used outside so we might as well keep it close to the entrance but besides that it's a mess back here i've organized it 101 times so i just leave it as like the dump area and i just never come back here that's the way to do it so now if you guys haven't seen you have to go and see this video. If it's one video I'm asking you guys to go check out is my bathroom. It was my, it was a, what did I call that? Video? DIY hexagon wall. Oh yeah, DIY hexagon wall. Oh my gosh, my bathroom makeover. I absolutely love this bathroom and I'm definitely taking this to our new place. So here is our bathroom. So 
So this is where I show you in the video how I accomplished this look. It was really long but easy DIY. Here is my vanity area. I'm not gonna lie, I have switched this up. If you have seen the video, you've seen that I never styled it like this. I did switch it up, but that's one thing about me is that um, I switch up my house all the time, which is why I never knew when was the right time to do this tour. So, yeah, this is our little bathroom. We have three bathrooms in this house. This is the only one on the main floor. And yeah, I absolutely adore this bathroom. Believe it or not, I use this bathroom more than I use my own bathroom. And that's because I love to sit here in the morning and just look and be like, this is so aesthetically pleasing. I'm surprised I don't take selfies here. Like, and why? you don't want to walk up the stairs, that's why you don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that when I've seen. It's also because like, it's it's cute. It's the cutest bathroom in the house for it's sure. It's the cutest. It's the one bathroom that actually stays clean 24-7. Like this bathroom, cleaning it is so easy. So I absolutely adore it. So yeah, guys, this is the downstairs of our house. Guys, so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at interior.brig. And I'll see you guys in my next video.